Switch case statements are very similar to if else if statements, but they may be more useful for applications dealing with character data. In switch case statements, the value of a variable is compared against values in different cases. So the value of the variable is first going to be tested against the first set of values for the first case. If the variable is equal to any of these values, the first set of commands will be issued. However, if the variable is not equal to any of the values in the first case, it will then examine the second case and see if the variable is equal to any of the values in the second case. If so, the second set of commands will be issued. If the value of the variable is equal to none of the values in the different cases, commands underneath the otherwise statement will be issued. Let's go see an example. So I've gone on and written up a example with switching case. So our variable in this case is animal, and animal will have the value dog. So what happens if we execute this code? The dog says woof. Okay, so let's see what happened. So the value of animal is dog, so we come to the first case. Is the value of animal cat? No. So it skips, it, uh, skips this display command and goes down to the next case. In the second case, does dog equal dog? Yes, it does. So it will issue this command. The animal, dog, says woof, and this will be displayed on the screen. It will then skip the rest of all the, uh, these cases and also skip the otherwise statement and go to end. If multiple cases, or the value stored in multiple cases, are the same as the value stored in animal, for example, if the last case could also be sheep or dog, and we run the code, it'll still say the dog says woof. So let's see what happens. Animal has the value of dog. Does animal have the value of cat? False, so it skips this. Does it have the value of dog? True. So the animal, the dog, says woof. Even though this is dog, it still gets skipped. If dog did not exist in the second case and instead it was something like doggy, then it'll change it to the third case. Or we'll go to the third case. Animal is equal to dog. This is true the dog says bad, which is obviously not something you probably want your code to do. Instead, if your animal was something like puppy, and we run the code, none of the cases have the word puppy in it. Cat, doggy, canine, sheep, dog. So we go to otherwise because none of these cases are true. I don't know this animal. Technically, the curly braces right here are not necessary. You could remove them. But often, it's good programming practice to keep them on there so your code looks neater. If you like, you can put if statements within each of these cases or put switch cases inside other switch cases. It's up to you, and you're going to have to decide as a programmer what's appropriate for your particular problem.